Welcome to the Proxev training video for updating your catalogue. In this video you will learn how to update your content within the Proxev catalogue builder. The initial loading of your catalogue will be done by the buying organisation. To give you an overview of the different types of catalogues, a private catalogue is uploaded by a buying organisation just for their organisation, a framework catalogue is uploaded by the lead organisation and made available to selected organisations, and a public catalogue is uploaded by a buying organisation and made available to all organisations. You will receive an email to let you know that your catalogue is at the update expected stage, so you can do this when required. To begin, open the catalogue that you wish to update. Then select the shopping basket icon on the left to open your content page. Then make the relevant changes to your line items. In this video we will update the unit price for two of the items. Once you have amended the price you will then need to change the action column from add to update. If you wish to delete a line item out of your catalogue, change the action to delete for that particular line item. For the line items where no updates are required, change the action to update. This is to ensure on re-import that the lines still remain within your catalogue. Once this is all complete, select the Add-ins tab and select the Header Data button within the catalogue toolbar. This information should already be pre-populated. All you need to do is change the transaction cell from New to Update. To indicate this is an update to the catalogue, select the Check Data button. This will now run a series of checks to ensure all data you've inputted is correct. If you have any errors, they will be displayed here within the error report. Select the blue link on the left, which will navigate you to the exact cell that needs amending. Once the changes have been made, select the Check Data button again, and if your catalogue is error-free, you will then see the following message. Next, select the Create Your BME Cat button. You will then be prompted to save this file using the Browse button. Choose to save somewhere locally where it can be easily accessed. The next stage is for you to log into the Proxerv Commerce Network. From the home page, select Catalog Management. This is where you can maintain and update your catalogues online. Select your catalogue from the Catalogue Overview section. You will then see the import box appear where it says Catalogue File. Browse the BME cat file that you saved earlier. Where it says Multimedia Contents, browse the zip file with your images or documents related to this catalogue that you would like to upload. Select the Transfer button on the right of your screen you will see the catalogue move into Import in Progress. Once this is all completed successfully, you will then see a Validate button. Select this to run the validation test against the previously loaded catalogue. Once the validation has been completed successfully, you will see the following message. If you wish to attach more than one multimedia folder, in the Catalogue Overview section, under the links to the right of the catalogue, select the plus icon and browse the zip file. Then click transfer on the top left. Once this is successfully completed, you'll see the following message. You can now close this screen. You will then see the button release to buyer. Select this and you'll see the current status change to buyer review. The Proxo Catalogue Management System will automatically email the buyer to approve the catalogue. You have now successfully completed the update stage. Once your buyer has approved the updates and released the catalogue, you will receive an email to say your catalogue is at the update expected stage and when required, repeat this procedure again. If you need additional support with updating your catalogue, please contact the Proxev Supplier Support Team on 0845 604 2328 or by email at supplier support at proxserve.com.